Hey everybody, how we doing? Um, Brian here from WF Fishing. Um, as you guys see, I'm gonna do a little review on the Lose Mock Crush. Um, I don't see a lot of these on YouTube. If they do, they're not very detailed or just say what they like about them. Um, this, I'm gonna be comparing this to um, my Lose LFS. You know, this is like a $100, um, $100 reel. You know, the Crush is about 160 or whatnot. But yeah, um, things like this, it's, it's, it's still the 10 plus, or the, the not, a 10 bearing system with the 9 plus one. Um, it has a clicking spool tensioner, if you guys can hear this. It's actually one thing I like about this over the LFS is that this has clicking, so you kind of can tell, okay, well, this bait here, I'm throwing a swim jig, gotta increase it a couple um, couple clicks. Um, go back to a Texas rig, a weightless Texas rig. Um, go back a couple clicks on it. So that's one thing I like about this. I also like the wind grips. Um, seems like they get wet. Um, you still have the grip onto it compared to the LFS model, which you can see here has these flat paddles. I know I think the tournament models and the they have like serrated, so it's not so not so um, slippery anyway. Um, along with that is that this anybody knows that the spool tensioner on the LFS doesn't have a clicker. It's just uh, simple tiny and loosening of it. And one thing I don't like about the um, crush compared to the LFS is that just something simple. We're here on the braking system, the magnetic brake system. How this doesn't have any numbers on it at all compared to uh, the other model has all the numbers on there. So you can tell what your tension is. You know, you want to set a half. I usually have mine set, yeah, set at five. I go half. I like to adjust it on the spool, um, spool tension instead of the braking system. That's how I like to do it. But yeah, I also like how here on the crush it has like um, an aluminum drag star compared to the LFS, which is plastic. You know, you kind of get it with the um, pay for what you get for this. Uh, I think Sorry, it's like a seven and four inch pole. But on here, um, you get what you pay for. Like, this is a great reel, I'm a great rod. This is the first bait casting reel I had. Um, to actually start out with everybody said to go buy something that's a little bit decent so i decided to go and buy this uh lfs um, both are the speed spools i'm going to be running both on um 30 pound power pro this actually has like a super slick v2 or whatever it is they're all going to both have 30 pounds these are basically for um i'm jigging or i'm rigging these anyway for frogs jigs anything top water you know buzz baits click baits um I use them swim jigs, I'll be using the spinner baits, uh, maybe weight or weighted Texas rigs. Um, I have a finesse a finesse rod just for um, wacky, uh, wacky worms and dead rigs and whatnot. But yeah, um, this is it's a very smooth reel. Very, very smooth. So it's can't you can feel the difference in this one and the LFS. You just feel just feel the difference in it. it and it looks it looks great. Like how can you not like this? Like look how old this orange is. It's a gorgeous like burnt orange on there. Like I wish that the, the knobs of the burnt orange or that the casing itself was like the vibrant orange. So it kind of matched. Um, I was really looking for that green one because I actually got two new Guggen rods coming in. Well, when they uh, are pre-ordered them. I have the go-to casting rod or the gold series, which that's what this will be going on to. And I got this cheap Berkeley rod right here that this, um, LFS will be going on. The, the, I have a green muscle rod. I'm gonna replace uh, this 30 pound with either 40 or 50 pound braid. Anyway, well, yeah, um, this is seven, seven five to one. The gear ratio on it. Um, there's a little spot here. You open. You can open up this side plate. Check out the braking system. You know, if you wanna take the spool out, you can take the whole spool out. Like the LFS, the LFS has the has a little pin up here still on the top. I'm take this little get a swim jig out of the way. A little pin right there where my thumb is. Pop that out, put the side plate, and take that out to check on the brakes. Um, yeah, it seems like a great reel. I'm gonna get this spooled up. Um, I'm gonna make another video in the future of me using it. Um, I've been slacking on videos right now. I've uh, returned back to work. I went from third shift. I was working third shift, so I only had time on the weekends. Um, I do have a couple of videos in, the, um, in edit. we are editing right now. Goofy. Um, so, be on the lookout for those. 
one I I think I caught about a dozen or two bass in the day. Um, the other ones I've only caught a couple, you know, but the conditions are what they were. They were hot, um, very sunny, weren't very prime uh, conditions for bass fishing anyway. But yeah, this is the Mop Crush. Here's a, let's see if I can find the box for it. There it is. But you can see everything there. It says it has, you know, it can fit 110 um, yards of 12 foot, 9 plus 1 bearing system. Uh, 20 pound uh, drag. It weighs, what does it say it weigh? 7.5 ounces, so it's not even that heavy. I mean, it's heavier than their light model, which I think is like 4.3 ounces. But this here is, um, I just, it's just silky smooth. Like, you, you want to do that. But yeah, it's, it's silky smooth. It's, I can't get over how smooth it is. You can just tell the quality, and these wind grips can make a whole lot of a difference. Um, my LFS, I can I know when I'm reeling in a fish. Um, I've had twice now. When I'm reeling in a fish, and my hand would slip right off the handle. See so you guys. I'll show you guys the boat too. It's all finished. Um, on the trailer, you know I have the the new uh, trailer jack there. Got the new boat winch, and here she is done. You know, she looks pretty good. I've taken her out um, a total of. I think five times. I've been taking it on the weekends when I can anyway. Um, you know, here's my finesse rod. I got the carbon ugly stick. Picked up some fluorocarbon, some monofilament backing on there. Um, the little guy back there. He's been on the boat a couple times. Um, we're gonna, yeah, get everything situated. It's a great boat. I know I started back on YouTube doing a little series on this uh, boat completion and it's finally done, you know. The only thing I can think I need now is uh, maybe like a little 10 or like a 9.9 .9 horsepower engine just for, um, you know, getting around on the lake and stuff. The trolling motor, I'm running a little 40-pound Enduro C2. And that does fine. I, I have it on lake for like six to seven hours and I only drain 30% of the battery. That's just from going from spot to spot and whatnot. But, yeah, trailer looks good. Boat looks good. Get my rods and every, rigs all set up. And, yeah. Um, stay tuned guys for in the future we got some fat sallies getting them down I got two videos in editing right now um, one's a little shorter the other one's about probably about 15-20 minutes long um, stay tuned I hope you guys enjoyed the little product review like I said this is a great reel I need to get my other camera on too okay, this is a great reel he is looking for a um, like a semi not so expensive reel with the great quality. I know everybody likes the Shimano DLXs, um, but I've been a lose guy myself. I, I tried, actually, before I bought any bait casters, I had my buddies. Um, I tried his out. I tried to get the LFS. He said, hey, start start small. I've always been a spinning reel guy, but I can't get over the the feel. And you just feel so much more in tune, you know, Daddy with these spinning rods or these uh, bait casters. It's, that? it's paint, dude. So you go, guys. Great here's, yep, here's a reel and the review of the Mott Crush. Here it is in all its glory. It's beautiful. It is, it's gorgeous. See ya guys. Till the next time. Like and subscribe to my dad right now.